A scary challenge circulating on social media that parents need to know about tonight. It encourages kids to disappear, sparking a panic search for them. Law enforcement strongly advises against this so-called game, which wastes valuable resources on searching for a child who is not actually missing. It's also infuriating people on Facebook after a teen disappeared in South Carolina yesterday. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Lumberg has what you need to know about this terrifying trend. Besides being scary, I think it's, um, it's, it's kind of stupid. As we've seen, there are a lot of challenges out there. The 48-hour challenge comes down to this. Kids decide they want to disappear. Then to complete the challenge, they remain gone for 48 hours. In the past, we've seen the Todd challenges and, you know, the car challenges, jumping out of a car. Uh, but this one could be, you know, just as bad. Thursday, NBC Charlotte covered the search for 13-year-old Diana Clausen. Detectives were on the hunt. Neighbors created a search team, only to find out the teen was never missing. In fact, Diana was hiding under her bed, surrounded by shoes. It's upsetting to know that it was a challenge, from my understanding, a 48-hour challenge that kids are doing now. People who spent hours looking for the teen told NBC Charlotte they thought she was participating in this challenge. So that's very upsetting and alarming to know that kids think that being missing for 48 hours is a game. Posts and comments on Facebook speculating the same and agreeing that being missing is not a game. Not yeah. Diana's parents, who you see here, have no idea why their daughter went into hiding. But the mother told me today it wasn't because of this 48-hour challenge. The resources that we're putting into this, because like I said, every single minute counts when somebody's missing. So uh, it's very important, obviously, if it's very true that someone's missing. Uh, so to go and, and do something like this, uh, it, there's a lot of issues with this. While this idea is circulating, CMPD is encouraging parents to check their kids' cell phones and make sure that their location finder is turned on. So if they go missing, it's easier to track their whereabouts. Reporting tonight, I'm Rachel Lundberg, NBC Charlotte.